The ongoing discussion on the introduction of European stability bonds is dividing European nations. Some think these euro bonds could be the solution to the sovereign debt crisis. Others fear they could only divert more money to irresponsible governments not capable of raising capital themselves. There will be a debate in Parliament in Strasbourg on the feasibility of introducing the bonds on Tuesday afternoon. Eurobonds would probably mean common issuance of debt by member states and common liability. French MEP Jean-Paul Gauzès is EPP Group spokesperson on Parliament's Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee. On Wednesday afternoon, MEPs will debate the escalating crisis in Syria with the European Union's High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Baroness Ashton. Pressure on the Syrian regime to cease its violent response against protesters and for President Assad to step down has mounted. But efforts to condemn the regime's actions in the United Nations Security Council are blocked by Russia and China. This means the EU has an important role to play. In a statement, EPP Group Chairman Joseph Dole and Vice Chairman Yanis Kasoulides called Russia and China's veto in the Security Council a death sentence for even more innocent people in Syria. Every year, the European Union funds a project for food distribution to the most deprived people in the community. The programme is under threat as it is opposed by several member states. Germany has lodged an official complaint against the renewal of the food programme to the Court of First Instance and is supported by the UK, the Netherlands, Denmark and Sweden. The Commission has countered by proposing a revision of the programme and it will be debated in Parliament on Tuesday afternoon. Polish MEP Adam Sikierski is responsible in Parliament for the programme and supports the Commission's recognition of its importance, but rejects a plan for co-financing by Member States. The digital revolution has made radio frequencies available for new use. Swedish MEP Gunnar Huckmark is responsible for Parliament's radio spectrum policy and is proposing that further frequencies are dedicated to mobile broadband, a necessity for Europe to be a world leader in online services. Parliament will debate his proposed policies on Tuesday evening. For more information on the week's highlights, visit our website eppgroup.eu.